on the continent of Corvair. A chance encounter brought four intrepid travelers together on the road to adventure. Though they began as strangers, they soon became known as the Hero Squad. Following the great train heist and the subsequent crash, our heroes find themselves in the company of Hex, a warforge who wields some kind of magical sword, and Perrin and Lordrum, fans of Questiny's child, who appear to have endless pockets. I forgot about that. I do. I forget every time. They are headed north in hopes of finding transportation, while Hex has his sights set on chasing down the thief from the train who appeared to travel north in an airship. Presently, they are approaching the hamlet of Eskelios. A small hub situated between near endless farmland in northeastern Ondare, the last town of its size for several days journey. This will be the last opportunity for the group to acquire supplies before heading to their final destination. While you guys were approaching, you could see that there was a crowd of people gathered around making some noise, doing something, um, and uh, but they're, they're starting to dissipate. There's maybe a handful of people still left outside. As you guys are kind of approaching the, the gate, because this is kind of like a walled-in kind of town area. Yeah. Um, you are greeted by a guard who just sort of says, you know, turns to uh, Atlas and uh, just sort of says, All right, you seem to be the one in charge here, so uh, what's your business? What are you doing? Uh, well, we're, uh, we're on... <laughs> is anyone going to step in? Or say, <laughs> uh, yeah, clearly this guy's in charge. <laughs> Hello, friend. Our train had some problems. We're looking for safe passage. Oh yeah, I heard about and a train. And a bathhouse. I heard about a train. Bathhouse? Do you not have a bathhouse here? We've got an inn, and it's got a bath. But I don't know about a bathhouse. Where you think we are, Fairhaven? No, but we want to get there. Is there transportation what? to Fairhaven from here? Oh yeah, we got horses. Uh, right, you can't leave now, right? Because it's night time, obviously. And you don't want to travel at night. But uh, in the morning we can maybe get you some horses, get you out there. What can we do during the night here? What's there to do? What's the hot spots? Well, I'm, I would assume you'd probably like to go get yourself a room at the inn before they're all full up. Sure. Uh, Is there only one inn? Yes. What's one. our What's our gnome friend? Perrin. Perrin. Does he, hmm? He's not a gnome, he's a halfling. He's sorry, halfling. sorry. I'm rewriting all my notes. I apologize. <laughs> uh, Perrin. Uh, yeah, what's going on? <laughs> do you oh happen goodness. to own one of these fine establishments in this city? You know, I never really thought to invest in a Skelios. Not really a. That's fine. Not really a big starter here, but I um, just figured someone of your taste would yeah. know where to stay here. Well, uh, what I will say is that uh, we certainly should head to the inn, and of course, I will pay for everyone's accommodations. Oh. I could definitely need uh, <laughs> a good night's sleep after everything that we've been through. Certainly, Lord, uh, follow me. Let's let's go on in and let's let's get all this taken care of. We'll see you all in there once we're we've got everything sorted. But don't worry, you've I got you covered. You're all great. Okay, oh, see you later. Oh, Thanks, you're Perrin. too kind, Perrin. Mordrum, kind of under his breath, too kind. <laughs> can I take a moment to get to know my fellow travelers? Of course you can. I feel like we've been through a lot in the last day yeah. or so. Yeah. We're getting ready to bunk together in this inn, and mm. I don't think that we've spoken really yep. to each other outside of just like casual conversation. Yes. And just really quickly, you, you can totally do that. Um, as you guys were having this conversation like that, Hex just like walked straight to the inn. Like he like barely even kind of like turning to y'all and saying anything. He just kind of like kind of. Was there anyone else in our party, or just the? So four you of got us? Hex, mm -hmm. Lordrum, and Perrin okay. are with you. Yeah, and yeah. then all of and us. And then the four of you. Okay. So I guess yeah. Hex doesn't want to be a part of this group chat. That's fine, Hex. <laughs> I'll see you at the end, buddy. Or are you actually like yelling in his direction? I am. Warforged have their own personal business to attend to. I wouldn't what was take that? it personally. I said we're getting to know each other. A little campfire chat, maybe. Do you, you want know, to do tell this about... outside in the cold? I wouldn't mind going inside and having well, a little yeah, fire. Well, Perrin and Lauren and said ale. that they were getting stuff situated, so we were gonna. Well, we can all head in the inn, have a drink, and then relax. Is there drinks in the inn? I didn't know there were. I, it's an inn. There's I imagine there's there's provisions. We're not Inn's going got anywhere. everything you need. We got beer. Everything. We got wine. We <laughs> got steaks. We got bread. We got steaks. Oh, oh yeah, we got everything. Wait, do you are you a guard or do you work at the inn? No, I'm a guard. 
But I'm f- I frequent the inn. I mean, every guy gets time off. You should know. I mean, look at your hat. You know about it. You're still wearing that I'm hat. Still wearing the hat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a nice hat, but you don't have. That's to why I thought you were in charge. You know. I, I forgot I was wearing the hat. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know all about that. <laughs> yeah, so you know. Uh, I'm following Hex now. I'm yeah. not okay. dealing with any of this. So you two are heading to the inn. Are y'all yeah. all gonna head to the inn? No, or I'm going as well. Outside? If you want to chat outside in the cold, that's completely fine. I'm gonna get myself a beer. You said it was cold. It's nighttime. It's it's uh, <laughs> it's not super cold because it's becoming night, but it is you know a little chilly. A little chill in the air. I like the chill. Yeah, right. and then you can sit outside. And get... I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just scout around the town a little gotcha. bit. Okay. It's okay, okay if you want to chat, we'll do it later. Well, I do want to chat. I want to chat out here. I don't want to chat in front of a bunch of strangers. So you're going to chat in front of me then? Yeah. <laughs> do you have any concept of what an inside of toy is? Steps away from this guard. <laughs> That'll do. Alright, fine. Now, don't okay. mind me. Yeah, I'll just be Hex. standing here in the cold with no I beer. assume parents is following us because we're parents going. already we're parents left. They left. That's okay, why I wanted to talk outside because he said, "Come in once I get every, or I'll let you know once I, I got everything ready for oh, you." Oh, I'm following the person buying our rooms. All right, mm-hmm. all right. So where is everybody now? I'm very confused. Already. We went inside. We went inside with parent and Hex and Lordrum. Yeah. Okay, I'm confused. Okay, so I'm standing outside. So you, <laughs> so, so Atlas and Rager are is it Rager or Rager? Rager. Rager. It's Rager. Okay. Rager. 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 Are outside, <laughs> um, still chilling in front of the guard. Uh, oh. And then uh, Quest and East Child have gone inside with uh, Lordrum and Perrin mm-hmm. and Hex. So, y'all, when you enter in, it's a pretty lively mm-hmm. uh, spot. You can see there's a lot of people, there's a lot of merriment, very warm glow inside. Mm-hmm. Um, it feels like a very inviting kind of bar space. You see um, there's a lady behind the counter clearly handing, you know, beers out to everybody. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's that time of the evening where everybody mm-hmm. is retiring and it's, you know, everybody's kind of getting their party on. Um, so it seems pretty lively. Um, but also, you know, you saw those people who kind of came in um, from outside because as yeah. you were entering in. And they um, uh, all seem to be kind of gathered together in one kind of corner. And they seem a little more serious at the moment. It's like maybe like four or five people just kind of like, huddled over in a corner, um, kind of with more melancholy, angry looks on their face than everybody else who seems pretty mm-hmm. merry and cheer, uh, cheerful. Okay. Uh, I grab Christina and I'm like, we should probably get ourselves situated in our room first before we join in the merriment. Is there something that we need to do? I mean, I would like to drop off all of our luggage. I guess. I, I, I grab a few of the bags. Okay. Did, you, did you enter the the inn like literally dragging your trunks? Yes, <laughs> and I, all five of my hats, <laughs> my hat boxes. Okay, so the two of you. Uh, I go up to I guess who's ever in the barkeep, because um, mm-hmm. Perrin's paying for everything. So, mm-hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure Perrin is in charge of this, but I need a room for me and my sister. Oh, sharing. you're with the little guy. All yeah, right, no, yeah. that's, Parents that's are perfect. Good friend. He's such All right. a dear. Yeah, your uh, second room upstairs to the left. Thank you so much. Are you that? Don't forget your hat. I won't forget all five of my hats, sister. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> do you chill downstairs or you go up with her? I'm with helping stuff? her with this. Okay, so luggage. you two go upstairs. What are yeah. you two doing outside? Uh, I, I'm talking to <laughs> Atlas, <laughs> saying, uh, Rager, what do you think this town's all about? What's its deal? It's uh, Rager, but uh, I'm gonna let that one slide. <laughs> We're just getting to know each other. I love this conversation outside. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> I forgot they're still outside. Look, I, I like the fresh air. You know what I mean? It's yeah. I feel comfortable out here. It's good. Yeah, plus I got all these layers on. This is gonna be warm in inside. I gotta like disrobe a little right? bit. Right? Yeah. You, you get it? See that? You wanna yeah. keep that hat on. Sure. Yeah. I keep forgetting I have the hat on, but it's yeah. It's a nice hat. Thank you. So what's your deal, Atlas? Where are you from? Um, Where have you been? Well, Tell me about your aspirations. So, okay. Um, I'm a paladin, sort of? Roll of wisdom. Um, I say sort of because I mean that I was in paladin school, but it didn't go that well because I disagreed with my teachers a whole lot. A little and, bit of a rebel, huh? I mean, I, I I feel like they just didn't get like my my views on things, and like they really wanted me to like conform to their views on 
on like uh, the divine and whatnot. So what are your it. views? I mean, just like the, what it's all about, you know? Like uh, everyone's so, everyone that's in that paladin school is so like conforming to the idea that you have to worship all these gods and whatnot, but there's no evidence, man, that you have to worship the gods. Like we don't know that divine magic comes from the gods. It can come from anything. My personal belief, it comes from the stars, man. The stars? The stars. Like, There's way more evidence that we are getting energy from the stars. This is what is powering this whole planet that we're wa walking on. I like this. Yeah. Right. So you're so you're you're a man of reason. I mean, I try. To be. I like that. I don't. You know, I don't go in for like the magic and stuff and the gods. I don't. All right. I can respect that. I appreciate that. So uh, remember that deal we were trying to strike back on the the train? You know. Uh, the deal where you were trying to bribe me to get into the car. Yeah. Yeah. I remember well, that deal. Remember when the train crashed? Do. You could have had money, man. Well, I remember refusing your deal before that. But you could have had money. Like, the way things ended up, nobody would have known. My point is, sometimes, you just gotta take a chance, take a risk. So, here's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, me and you, maybe we team up. To do what? Hustle, baby! I like you! Because you're honest, and I appreciate that. You're not trying to like beat around the bush or pretend to be someone you're not. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that about you. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> All right. Roll, roll, roll a, Jesse, roll a, uh, a dexterity real quick. All right. Oh my God. That was God. a natural one. You laugh so hard that they hear you. Where, but how is she? She's been listening from the window. She rolled oh. earlier on to see if she could hear. Oh. So you laugh so hard that they can hear you. So you guys look up in the window. Oh, she upstairs? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm still laughing up there, and as I'm giggling, I'm like, so are you going to ask him what his uh, perfect date is afterwards? <laughs> no. What? This is a personal conversation. You had your chance to hang out with us. You chose to go inside. Hold on, now I'm curious. What's your perfect date? Oh, well, um, it starts with feeding. <laughs> okay. We go out in the town. Now kiss! Wait, what's Why? going on Wait. over there? Maybe after we have a few seconds. Yeah, days. I'll pass for now. Okay. It looks kind of dark out there. You guys want to come inside? No! Stop it's, being rude! It's nice and warm in May here. Maybe. Maybe once I come inside, I'll teach you a thing or two about being stealthy. All right, so <laughs> told you a little bit about myself. What's your deal, man? You're obviously into like thieving everything in sight. Not everything in sight, okay? All People right. pay me to do things. I get things done, all right? Sometimes I freelance, you know, if I, if I think that something is like especially opportune. But it's not like I'm some bad guy who's like stealing candy out of babies' mouths. I don't right. know that you're not. These people like, deserve the things they're getting. And when, why did you decide to take this this career path for yourself? Because I'm good at it. When, what was your first thing that you stole? Candy from a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't feel good though, so I said after that, no more candy from babies. That's Rager's you, one you, regret you in found, life. You found your line, right? Very early on. In Very your early, yeah. exactly. Which you, is why I've been so good at what I do. I established that line early mm. and I haven't crossed it yet. Right. I take jobs, people want things done. Everybody in the world wants bad things done to bad people. I, mean, I, I get that done. I don't really want that. Yet. Fair? Because I don't, but I feel You're like- You're telling that. me that those, uh, those teachers at your school, you never wanted them to sit on attack or something. They're always <laughs> yelling at you and saying, shame Atlas, you don't believe in the gods. Oh, that stupid Atlas, dumb Atlas. <laughs> That's a great impression of them. And while I feel spiteful towards all of them, I don't wish them harm. I don't wish to like rob them of their-, their I'm not saying rob, I'm saying put a tech on their seat. So they said that, ooh, my bum. <laughs> I mean, no, I don't feel that, that type of like vengeance towards them. All right, maybe you aren't the kind of guy who won't working for me after all, but I like you. I mean, I appreciate you as well. You're straight. We get, we you're get, not. You're not trying to pretend to be someone you are. I won't rob you. How about that? That's All a. Right. We shake on a that. Rager guarantee. Yeah. Oh my God. All right. Atlas will remember that. <laughs> <clears throat> so. Uh, All right. Then I, I'm gonna head. I'm gonna go get a. You want to get a drink? I want to get a drink. Let's go get a drink. Right, so y'all head inside the yeah. bar. Uh, same description I gave earlier. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's a small group of disgruntled people. There's also a bunch of cheerful people. There is the woman behind the bar. Uh, Hex is just kind of like standing in the corner, just just kind of standing. And uh, Perrin and Lordrum are uh, at the bar. 
Mm-hmm. Definitely gonna get a drink first. Okay. Yeah. Question Parent, is, child. You got, a, you got the tab, right? Oh, of course! Yes, yeah, everything's yeah, on man. us! Lordrum. <sighs> I go over to Perrin and I tickle him. <laughs> oh, you're, you're a fun one, Rager. You're a fun one. <laughs> and uh, you see Lordrum like kind of chuckle a little bit, like kind of like just like a like a slight break, a slight <laughs> smile, and then right back to. Uh, I want to come downstairs mm-hmm. and join the rest of the okay. group, and um, I find a, a nice, comfortable seat. Obviously, it's not too crowded, and I start waving. It's down. quite crowded, but you like can still find one a seat. that's a seat. I yes. don't want to yeah, wave yeah, down yeah. the waitress. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's not too crowded. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's there's no waitress. You gotta order at the bar in this oh, establishment because there's a bar one lady thing. running this thing. Okay, <laughs> so I'll go to the bar. This isn't a fancy place. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bar. I'm gonna hang out with uh, Perrin. I'm mm-hmm. like Perrin. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, for Christina! That you've been doing. Thank you for just being you. I love your work. I, so, I already told you this. Oh boy, I'm already drunk. Oh, okay, it happens. I'm a tiny man. <laughs> Whoa, you shouldn't divulge that sort of information. What? So, what? Anyway, yeah, you're welcome. It's very much appreciated. And I turn to the waitress, is like, can I have? A mug of ale, and I'm smelling something delicious. Oh yeah, yeah. We got all, all anything you could want. Yeah. Um, okay. how about um, I give you get you a pint over here, and then hold on a second. Goes around the back, brings out this huge plate with just a massive steak on it, Ooh. big old loaf of bread, all kinds of fruits and everything on the side. Real decadent looking thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Other potatoes. That's our there. special. Done. Of course there's taters. Always got taters. Done. Damn. Take it. Enjoy. I'm grabbing it. I'm grabbing a seat. That's fine. I I obviously came Brett, you want to share this? Get on this? Yeah. Let's do it. Me and you. Giant steak. Obviously. Yeah. And wine. I feel like a parent ever... This is like the size of parent. It, <laughs> they are yeah. very much the same size. Yeah. <laughs> we get a giant boot of beer. All right. Das Boot? Das boot. One boot das coming boot. right up. And it's every, literally a boot. Does everybody literally have literally a boot? Boots in the inns. Well, of course. Place? You know, you got to get your shoes cobbled. And what do you think we do with the old ones? Oh, that's gross. That's <laughs> nasty. That's so where the flavor comes yeah. from. I am I not you. gonna have a boot, but I will have your biggest mug of cider coming right up. A Thank mug you. for the baby. Oh! <laughs> I think that was a challenge. I like your. St- What's your name? My name is Helja. Helja. All right. Helja. 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 You got it. What's your name? I'm gonna call you H. What's your name again? Helja. Ranger. Got it. Oh, what? <laughs> Helja's got ears everywhere. We gotta. We gotta talk later, me and you, H. I'm sitting ne- down next to Christina and mm-hmm. eyeballing those potatoes. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, as I'm eating, I was like, Atlas, you hungry? You know, you could just go over there and grab one. Parents buying. I immediately go to the <laughs> as well. So you pulled the I'm getting one. Uh, <laughs> so I would like to just you also get one. Yep. take my, my baby <laughs> mug of beer. Mm-hmm. Cider. Uh, cider, excuse me. I'm gonna go to a dark corner of the bar that's empty. Okay. Okay. Is there a dark corner in the in the inn? Uh, roll for stealth. Okay, emo child. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the darkest corner of the bar and cry. All right, so uh, that's a ten. All right, so you go and you stand next to Hex. Okay, that's fine. Because he's kind yeah. of in a dark corner, but it's really just kind of under the stairs. And that's fine. And uh, what I want to do is roll for perception and just sort of see what conversations are happening in the end. So you kind of want to like listen in on the mm-hmm. conversation. Okay, we'll roll for perception. God damn, what is with these terrible rolls? I'm getting sick right. of this. So, uh, I mean, essentially, you know, people are, are speaking pretty loudly and whatnot, so it's not that hard to really get any, like too many words. Like you're, you're not getting like full sentences or anything, but you do hear, you know, um, a lot of people are just talking about, you know, the harvest and you know how they're, they're very excited and revelous towards you know they've had a, a great year and everything like that and then you can hear um, a couple of people talking you know a little bit more angrier tones mm-hmm. you know you hear the word shifter thrown around you hear um, cattle um, but not not much else okay I mean I'm honestly switching to the random number generator over here because my dice is so bad uh, okay so. so Atlas yes you got your meat you get your food Ooh, yeah! How are you enjoying it? Oh my god, this thing's bigger than my hammer. It's fantastic. Can I ask you a question? Hit me with it. How'd you get into the guard business? What were you doing on that train? 
Well, okay, so I'm not actually a guard. Oh. That was my first guard job. Okay. Um, I'm just sort of like trying to. <laughs> You're trying to. I'm uh, trying to get employment, but also just trying to escape to take out my heart, town. Just start, like, um, tuning in. Okay. Not really okay. escape, Lightly. just try to find like, I don't know, just try to get out of that town. It was no good for me. The freaking clerics in my paladin school just sort of like made sure that no one in that town would hire me for anything else. So I just needed to sort of like get Why someone. Why would they do that? Well, they were really pretty upset with the ideas that I was throwing around. They called me godless, godless heathen and whatnot. How are you a paladin if you're godless? To be a paladin, you're just sort of summoning powers from the divine. The divine doesn't have to be gods. It can, I mean, the divine's just the divine. We don't know that it's gods. Do you, do you speak to gods? It seems like there's a lot of people that do, so I just assumed that that was true. Who, does, who, who do you know that speaks to gods? Any other cleric or paladin that's out there. They don't have any proof that they're actually speaking to any gods. I, you know, I believe you. Gods, feel free to step into this conversation right now and say no. Right around when you do that. <laughs> you hear a loud bang in the corner and someone slams their flagon onto the table and storms out saying, if you're not gonna do nothing, then I'm gonna do something. That was a pretty good sign. Him slamming his beer? I mean, that was pretty coincidental. Yeah, it was pretty coincidental. <laughs> you literally just made his argument for him. Well, I'm just saying, that could have been God's work. It could have not been God. What are you saying right now, Christina? I mean, I like you. I'm just trying to start a conversation. I'm just a little confused about the whole thing. Um, Being a paladin, you seem like you have to be pretty pious. Is so. anybody else wondering what that was all about? No, simple I, town folk have simple conversations. Wow. All right, I'm going to follow that guy. All right, you're going to follow that guy. As you're walking out, you also see Perrin is obviously kind of like <laughs> leaning back and forth, listing and whatnot. You see Lordrum kind of like catch him a little bit and help him and kind of like shake his head and roll Lordrum, his eyes. do you need any help getting him to his bed chambers? It's all right. I'm used to it. I'll all take right. him up to our room. So carried him upstairs and there they have both retired for the evening. Hex still standing like a statue. So you follow uh, that man outside. The man who just stormed out. Mm -hmm. and, and what are you, what are you doing? Sort of like jog up to him and say like, wait, 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 wait. Who are you? What do you want? Just trying to see what the fuss is about. You really stormed out in a huff, said that if they weren't gonna do anything about it, you would? You're not from around here, are ya? No. So you don't really know what's been going on then, do ya? No, but I love a good adventure, so why don't you fill me in, friend? Well. Some of us cattle ranchers around here have been losing some of our livestock. Night. We'll go to bed at night. Everything's fine, all locked up. All the cows are fine. Wake up in the morning. One of them will be eviscerated, dragged into the woods. It's disgusting and deplorable. And I know exactly who's doing it. Oh, really? Well, this is going to make it a lot easier. Who's doing it? Them dirty shifters living out in the woods. Come out here, them beasts, foul werewolves, every single one of them. Coming in, killing all of our creatures, acting like, oh, we're people too. No, oh, they're beasts. How dare they? Unacceptable abominations. So, what is it that makes you think it's the shifters who are doing this? Who else would be doing it? Is there anybody who maybe has cause to stir up animosity between your fair town and these shifters. The only ones stirring up animosity between our town and shifters are the shifters. Okay, so, hey, I gotta ask these questions and I'm gonna help you. I sort of investigate things. I can find things out. I can help you solve this mystery. Oh, you wanna find out about it, do ya? Well, why don't you go ahead and ask Kamyo Ruli? What's it? Kamyo Ruli. Kamyo Ruli. Kamyo Ruli lives Kamyo right Ruli. there at the end of the town, uh -huh. right? You go over to there, his son's been missing for days. Taken by the shifters off into the woods. Our mayor will do nothing about it. The guards will do nothing about it. Thinking, oh, the shifters. They're fine off in the woods. It's something else. It's some beast or something. No. Shifters, I seen them. I'm going to go talk to Kamya Rui. And in the meantime, you calm your nerves. <laughs> you're a funny one, you are. <laughs> oh, it's good, you are. All right. You're supposed to be a pirate? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I make my way to Kamyo Ruli's house. All right, so you you approach Kamyo Ruli's house. Before you get there, yeah. is anybody else doing anything in the bar? 
I'm uh, still playing my harp. I'm eating. Are you playing or just tuning? Well, I was tuning and now I'm, now you're I'm, playing. I'm strumming a little mm -hmm. bit of, okay. the, of a song. What kind of a song are you playing? What, what kind of what kind of music you putting out there? Do you want me there? to roll If you want to. If you want to. Is this something that you're wanting to put out there or are you just kind of Yeah, like, of course. I mean, tensions right. are a little high. Okay. The town folks need a little calming. Okay, okay. You want to put out a soothing uh, tone? Go for it. Yeah, so a, a wink to Christine. I'm like, shall we? Uh, sure, and I take another bite before we start. You're like shoveling food. Yeah, I got a kazoo. That's I don't perfect. have my That's kazoo perfect. on me right now, though. <laughs> um, Which I did. Go ahead. Where do I get a kazoo these days? Online? Amazon. Yes, yes. you can get yes. literally yes. everything yes. on the internet. Your own well, I'm Other saying stores I, I forgot are about stuff. Okay, uh, Kasuna, you should probably, so we can do a combined, what was oh. that? 17 You did a great plus. job. I did not do You did a less so great on. job. Hold on. Hold uh, on. That's still like a 14. Okay. So yeah, you guys, you start playing a little tune. You I know? got 21. You can see, you know, everybody in the bar kind of like looks over and kind of like, oh, all right. Yeah. I'm obviously okay. doing a little bit better than Christina. Well. <laughs> the backup became more of a solo. That's fine. Yikes. Just I like, would, listen, I was trying to sing and play the harp yeah. at the same time yeah. after having wine. And yeah. you know, that gets a little complicated. So what happens is like as you're playing and you're singing one of your hits, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, your voice kind of cracks a little bit on one of the high notes. I Not hear, like super I bad, just it. a little I bit. I hear it and I, I try to... And then you do a solo kind of thing. I, I jump in so that yeah. no yeah, one yeah. knows that her voice yeah. is cracking. Like... And everybody's like, oh, okay. Wee, wee, oh, yeah. remix. Wee, wee, Remix, yeah. okay. Willy, willy, willy. Also, it's uh, just can't do that. Yeah, they can. Yeah. They go bzz, bzz. <laughs> <laughs> It's different. All right, so yeah, y'all are putting on a, a solid performance. Yeah. People um, are pretty into it. Yeah, it's a song is a tale of a young woman mm. lost in the war-torn world trying to find her mother who abandoned her. It's a song called If You Seek Amy. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot of detail there. <laughs> to you, the melody of No, time. I know exactly, yeah. <laughs> if You Seek Amy. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Oh my god. I honestly don't know <laughs> yeah. the melody. I'm That's just fine. guessing. So, Ash, were you about to say something? Uh, oh, about like what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so I'm getting inebriated, mm -hmm. and then I'm sort of like, mo is is uh, Hex still awake or is he asleep? Still is standing there like a statue. Okay, then I'm gonna like... Uh, War Forges are very difficult since... to um, kind of get a, a, re a read on because they don't have emotions that are emoted through their face, right? Because it's a metallic structure. Mm -hmm. So they do have emotions, they do have complex emotions, but they are impossible to read. Okay, then I'm just gonna start talking to him as if he's awake. Mm -hmm. All right, before all this happens, yes. I, I flourish a hat I've stolen from Brittany's thing. <laughs> I put it on the hat? table. Uh -huh. We're playing all night. You can tip us here. We're gonna keep going. Boo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> and yeah, a couple people have kind of gathered and they're like, oh yeah, all right, yeah. And they're like throwing yeah, a couple it's a choppers shame here and there. This show. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's a very nice hat. It's a very, it's a very nice hat. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's a shame that Perrin missed this, him being our number one fan. If we play loud enough, he could probably hear it from upstairs. That's true. No, nothing's waiting with Perrin. <laughs> <laughs> That's not as, as As Christina puts the hat on. <laughs> Do you ground. put a coaster on it underneath? Yeah, I do. I put a coaster underneath it. Uh, and then I also uh, start up our other famous song, Give Me More. I don't know the melody. <laughs> give me, give me more. Give it's me fine. more. Give I, me, give me more. I don't listen Come to on. Britney Spears. Are you now well, just I listen to enough. like playing Britney Spears songs? Like you somehow found a window. Excuse me, these are Britney Battle Axe originals, yeah. and if you got to How the verse, dare. you would know that these take place in this context, and definitely not. I feel like this is a man life. in the high castle situation, and you figured out a way to bridge dimensions, and you're just stealing Look, songs Rick, from another dimension. We said this Rick. from the beginning. Everyone has secrets, and you don't get to know them all. Uh, we're, we're questing each child. <laughs> yes. Which means you should be testing these shouts. <laughs> <laughs> no, because she's Christina Orquilera and she's Britney Battleaxes, which means they can, they can pick from all of them. Yeah, we've got a plethora of songs. Look, it's They've fantasy. definitely got a song called Genasi in a Bottle as well. Don't worry about it. Right. So you were going to say... I was going to talk to the war. <laughs> gonna talk writing that down. To Hex. Yeah. Um, Genasi in a bottle, baby. baby. <laughs> So hey there, Hex. Uh, how far away do you think we are? Or like, what, what do you think our chances are to catching up to that uh, lightning sword lady? Well, the um, airship was moving rather quickly. I have a feeling by the time we reach Stormholm, it's going to be too late to catch up to her there. But uh, hopefully, I can gather some information in order to find where she went. Sure. 
sure. And then, and then what's your plan? Like, once we confront her, do you think you'll be able to take her down, like, on your own? Or, like... I don't have a choice. All right. I have to. And then, if I can just sort of ask, you, you seemed familiar with my shield? Yeah, I... Uh, I'm not sure why. It's difficult. Um, it's my family shield. Are you familiar with my kind? Well, War you're a Warforge, but to that extent, I've never met one before. I mean, I've seen you for—I've never conversed with one before. We were built in order to fight in the last war. My purpose then, I do not know. So you've forgotten that memory. Yes, but I do remember that symbol on your shield. How old are you? I can't remember when I was forged. When you were warforged. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not here for this conversation. Holy. Yes. <laughs> it's too bad that Hex has all these complex emotions he can't yeah. articulate. <laughs> yes. Does he even get the... Do, Ash, do you roll for the joke? Does he get it? <laughs> he, would, he would have to roll, I would no, think. Why? No, no, I mean, I, I would roll you'd have for to roll success. charisma for the success of being funny, of being charming. <laughs> Could you make the Warforged laugh? Do you want, is that what your goal is? Is that what your aim is? No, I mean, I don't want to, you know, get a bond with yeah. the hex. Yeah, I, so. I, I think that um, the thing to take away from interactions with hex, right, clearly he's confused. And that's right. kind of his overarching emotion right now, because he's not sure what's going on. Right. And as you remember from your uh, interactions on the train, um, it seemed like before the crash and everything happened that there, he was not aware, okay. right? So, you know, I guess without saying too much, yeah. you would be able to deduce that like, he doesn't remember anything, remember anything before yesterday. All right, then X can I Buy you a drink, or if you would like. I don't actually have any money. Parents' <laughs> <laughs> tab. But our our tab's open. I can get you a drink. Do you would, drink? Would it Would it give you pleasure to watch me drink? Maybe. Then sure, I'll drink. All Out right. of character. Yeah. So Warforged can drink. And they eat. can consume food and beverage. It does nothing for them. But they but. they do it in order to make other people feel comfortable. How do they excrete it? I have no do idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no do idea. Poop and pee. I'm, here's what I'm gonna. Say. We're gonna go ahead. We are going to make a house rule because otherwise we're gonna be dealing with this for the rest of the entire game. Um, the house rule is Warforged at their core have a, a sort of like reactor. Yeah, they, they essentially have like what powers reactor. them. Is it Mist of Fusion? From... And so it just immediately is disintegrated into. Right. That. They eat and drink to appease. People around them, do they also poop and pee to appease the people around <laughs> They do not do that, no. <laughs> a poop and they a might pee. walk into a bathroom, <laughs> you know, in order to give the illusion. <laughs> I give them a boot. I give them like a little slap on the shoulder as I hand it to them. It's like, yeah, drink up, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, look at you too. Thank you. Right? I, I, I'm loving the song, by the way. This one's for you. I appreciate this. Cheers. Yeah. Just downs the whole thing in one go. Thank you. You're welcome. So, you're following. Yes. Uh, no, I'm not following you. You head to the house of Kamiel Ruli. Uh, and I'm knocking. Kamiel Ruli? Kamiel Ruli. <laughs> you knock on the door. All right. Mm -hmm. Old man comes to the door and that slowly peeks it open. Who's there? Are you Kamiel Ruli? Indeed I am, who asks. I was told that your son's missing. Indeed he is. Oh. Again, I say, who asks. My name's Rager, and I think I might be able to help you. Well, at least somebody is. Opens his door. So, so, how can you help me? I was told that some sheep have been turning up missing and dead, and there's some wild-eyed guy who says that it's shifters and that they took your son too. Aye. Aye that? It's the shifters. Aye that? So, you saw them take your son? No. My son, the other day, I sent him out. I said, where's our livestock going? Three days ago. He leaves, says, I'm going to go find it. Follows the trail into the woods. I haven't seen him since. So, you guys have been having a lot of trouble with the shifters lately? Indeed. So are these the, the, the long tooth or the razor? 
Law. You think I know about difference between shifters? Well, I'm asking because... They're beasts, not men. Nothing to be known of them. All right, I'm just thinking in my head, wow, everybody in this town's real racist. Um, but I don't have say, knowledge. I don't say that to him. Of, like, region. I don't think they have... No, there's, like, nature. There's history. History. I have one. Okay. I have one in history as All right. well. Roll, roll for uh, history right now, All right. real quick. Uh, just, roll, just roll a d20. Yes. Um, I, I, this is just because I want... I got I, an 11. I, you got an 11? Okay. Yeah. Oh, right, right, because I have the thing in front of me. Um, okay, so you would know vaguely that um, here in um, Ondair, so in like the, the country that you're sort of in, the, the region of Corvair, um, that during the last war, there was a lot of conflict between the shifters who are from the Eldine reaches, which is just the West, uh, and Ondair. Um, most of that came about because uh, in this region, they have what are referred to as the Puritans, which are a very strict sect of the Silver Flame. And it's very well known that during that time, they actually um, enacted an inquisition right. uh, in which they were trying to eliminate all lycanthropes, which are you know, werewolves, mm -hmm. etc. cetera. Um, and in doing so, they also essentially enacted a genocide against the shifters as well, because they're, um, they share lineage with lycanthropes, though they're not werewolves. Um, and so, Clearly, it seems that that has seeped into this region. This would not. This would be a common response for someone in Ondare um, towards shifters. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can see that your your son he meant a lot to you. Of course, he does. Still does. Well, of course, he's still alive, and I'm gonna find him for you. All right. I've lost people. I know what it's like. I didn't have the good fortune of getting them back, but I want to change that for you. All right. What do you say? If I can go out to the shifters, find out what they've done with your son, and bring him back. I'll give you the same deal I gave to everyone else. What's that? One silver for my son back, and one silver for every shifter's head. Oh, jeez. I'll do it for one silver. <laughs> well, then get going. And... Forests, that way. <laughs> JJ, has anybody ever told you you're very difficult to work with? My son's been missing for three days, and all I've got that. left. You think I might be a little short in these moments. Get out of me house, go find me son. Yes, sir. Do you leave or are you still in his home? <laughs> <laughs> I leave. Okay, good. <laughs> um, part of me wants to sneak in through a window and steal something from him. Uh, you can do it when you find his son. Yeah. That's so messed up. That's um, so messed up. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave and I'm going to um, go back to the inn to mm -hmm. talk to these three about what I've mm -hmm. just experienced. Okay. All right. How much money have we amassed during the time we're playing? Oh, uh, you know, something just like 22 copper or something like that. So, Atlas. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to do bad things with me. Sure. How do you feel about doing good things with me? I mean, what do you got in mind? So it turns out that <laughs> there's been some sheep missing in this town. And I know you're like, what big deal sheep? But also there's a guy missing too. There's this dude, he's a real piece of work. This guy named Colma. Kamil. His son's missing. Okay. They suspected shifters. Shifters? I think they're just a bunch of racists. <laughs> Honestly, I'm in this to prove them all wrong. Uh, how long's the kid been gone? Uh, you know what? I didn't ask. I think you did, actually. Three days. Three he told days. you three days. Yeah. Three days. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask and I didn't listen. Um, then yeah, we should try to, to find this kid. Awesome. Yeah, All right. I'm in. Awesome. I'm in too. <gasps> Hex! <laughs> Hex? <laughs> I thought you were asleep, buddy. You know what I gotta say about that? What? Hex yeah! Hex yeah? I already, yes, I said yes. Do we want to get these other two involved? I mean, they got the money. Technically, parent has the money, but I don't want to bring him. <laughs> He's fragile. I mean, they they also sort of like kept us alive, sort of, with their like music charms and whatnot. Yeah, I guess uh, we're gonna have to wait for them to finish their show, and then probably sleep off their hangover. I mean, we just can bring them drunk. That's true, we can bring them drunk. Yeah. I, I wipe the sweat off my brow because we've been playing hard. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm looking through the pieces like, man, look at this, Brit, 22? I know, the money's not that important. It's all about practicing, so we stay sharp I for mean, our next show. 
That's like two silver pieces here. Can um, we get the money out of my fancy hat, though? Yeah, I... It's I, a little dirty. I, 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 like, combine it and put it into a pouch. I'm gonna put the hat and, on my head. Okay. You just put the hat on your head? It was what? her hat. Yeah, it's my hat. But it was dirty. It's there was a bunch of dirty no, money No, she put, in like, it. a doily underneath it, yeah. too. Underneath it, but not on the inside. inside of it. Listen, I take very good care of it. Okay. All right. Did, I, did you uh, see how many hat boxes she had? She does have a lot of hats. Oh, Rager joined us. What we? Did you finally came inside? Yes. Did, did you join you us? On a I was inside before, and then I left from inside. Yes. yes. Oh, I guess I wasn't really paying attention because you weren't with the group. You decided to. Yeah, because you know what? Where'd I'm actually trying to help people. All right. Wait. Because <laughs> I'm a good Samaritan. <laughs> Can you're you're in here trying I'm, to make some some copper for yourself, well, and I'm out here trying to help people who have lost sons. <laughs> I just want to say, I think my favorite thing that has come about from today's uh, session is clearly Rager is on a quest to convince Atlas that he's a good person, yeah. and he's going to do anything he can to convince Atlas that he's a good person. The bromance between these two, I cannot wait to watch it blossom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait, you're, you're trying to prove you're a good person, but you know, we decided to- I didn't say anything about trying to prove I'm a good person. Look, okay. That was the DM. That was oh, me, oh, I sorry. said that. <laughs> sorry, retract that. No, we, we just decided to have fun and play it. Well, people that's fine. It seems like you're giving, me, you're giving me a lot of shit for no. not being here watching you guys sing a song. You just... With all due respect, I've heard your entire catalog. I've oh, heard, I heard the song. Thank you, you're a fan. I didn't say that. <laughs> said I heard your songs. You heard all of our songs, though. Then you know the power of music and how that can sway people. Sure. But I also yeah. know that there's a man with a son missing, and he wants to kill all the shifters. Sounds like a racist. That's what I said. <laughs> Not to his face, though, because well, he would have punched me or something. Yeah. As most racist town folk will. It's true. Maybe we shouldn't say that out loud while we're in this town. He's not here. Well, yeah, but most of the racist town folk are. <laughs> <laughs> they might all share the same sentiment. Why don't we, um, why don't we clean up? Let's take this upstairs, conversation upstairs, where it's a bit more private. That sounds like a most practical idea you've had all night. It's so a lot better than by the time outside. you guys had ended your conversation, there was like one drunk idiot, like lay, like laid asleep on like a table, and everybody else was gone. Okay, great. Yeah, great. <laughs> so did, he, did the drunk idiot say anything? <clears throat> no, he's passed out. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I didn't did have to punch him in the wallet? face. <gasps> Ooh, can I steal his wallet? <laughs> You can roll I don't for know sleight of hand. Hey, hey, hey. I am gonna. Yeah, I mean, I gotta use my sleight of hand, right? Sure. So, um, hold on. I have to remind myself real quick. I have fast hands, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> which is. I don't think you should admit to that, Rick. Uh, starting at level three, you can use a bonus action granted by your cunning action to t to make it. I mean, that's a bonus action within combat. I don't even need to use that. No. Um, okay. So <laughs> I'm just gonna roll fast. slight hand. Yeah, I'm gonna roll a slight hand. But they're pretty uh, fast. Or I guess, do you have like some kind of like deft fingers or something or that? Um, so what you do is you can actually just click on slide of hand. Can I? And that'll roll it for you. Really? And that'll really? do it on d20. Did it just pop up? Yeah, it should have. Yep, you rolled a, well you have advantage, which you should probably turn off, but um. No, he's got advantage, the dude's passed out. Oh, okay, so 24. 24. Wow, that's yeah. a good roll. Uh, you do uh, reach into this man's pocket, and from the bar, uh, Helcha looks at you and goes, Oh, that's so sweet. He has to go and try and tuck him in. He'll be fine. He's here all the time. He, that's where he sleeps most nights. Ah. Uh, sweetie. And, and you do get his wallet. Okay, great. And I want to explain like how I did it. These three were in mm -hmm. front of me, and as I'm walking, and I'm like, Good person! Good person here! Um, I just sort That's of more suspicious. Put his wallet in my pocket. None of y'all saw it. Yep. None of us saw it. No, no, I know. Okay. I'm just saying that's a very suspicious yeah. thing to scream. I know, right? <laughs> but no, he, he rolled so high, and y'all's uh, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> passive perceptions don't beat that. Mm -hmm. Mine's, mine's very high. He, passive a twenty-four. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, did Ash see it then? No, he did not. That's crazy. No, I said because Rick rolled Rick a rolled a twenty-four. Yeah, oh, okay. not me. Um, because it, so just real quick, whenever something happens that y'all wouldn't be searching for, mm -hmm. it's only your passive. No, level. yeah, yeah. So it's ten plus your modifier plus whatever. Yeah. 
Um, so Ash does get a bonus to passive perception, but I still think it was it's like something like 18 or 19. That's still it's, high. Yeah, it's it's like, very high. It's 18. But think. Rick's sleight of hand was high. Yeah, mine's 11. Um, that's, how, that's how high yeah. it is. No, no, Ash, Ash is... I have the... Uh, I have feet. Called. You're observant. So very observant, that guy. Yeah. Okay, so y'all all retire to your rooms, right? I thought we we're going to go up to our rooms to discuss this in further. Oh, you guys wanted to chat some more. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Go for it. Yes. So I assume you're all... Whose room are you in? Let's go to guess, Atlas's. Yeah, sure. Sure. I bet you yeah. he's got more hats than I do. <laughs> Could be mistaken, but I think he's only got the one. Atlas, you got more cute hats? How many hats do you have, Atlas? I mean, I packed light, so I only have four. Can I ask why if you have four hats you're still wearing that guard hat? Is keep, that your new favorite? I keep forgetting it's on my head, it's so small. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you should take off the hat now that you remember it? I mean, everyone keeps complimenting me. Or you can put a hat over that hat, because it's so small. It's true. Then I you got a patception. I could do that with your hats. Your hats are pretty big. They are very, very big. Have you ever thought about wearing your hats like stacked on one another? I've done it on several shows, yes. Okay. She's like a be- between scenes, you take off another hat, people go, whoa! Yeah. So, are we planning our hats? I don't have any hats. We've got plenty of hats for you, Hex. Don't worry. May I please have a hat? I hook him up with a pork pie hat. Can we do like a montage like Billy Joel's Uptown Girl starts and it's like, oh, and then it's just like Hex trying on a bunch of hats. I go get my hats for my room. Does sure. the pork by a hat have a card in it? No. So you guys just try on a whole bunch of hats on Hex that is a motionless face. It just keeps on like cycling through all these different hats. And it ends on a pork pie hat. So mm-hmm. as we're doing this, I mean, Rager, you had something that happened earlier, right? Hat then. <laughs> These puns are so funny. I th- I are roll they for funny. funny. Wait, um, hat then sounds like happen. You got it, buddy. Heck yeah. Don't. Okay. okay. Don't. Um. So this town is full of racists. <laughs> yeah, I think I, most small towns are, which is why I don't. That's like racist. Um, <laughs> but I'll overlook it right now. This particular town. <laughs> hates shifters, and they think the shifters took all their sheep and this guy's son. Now, I'm on a quest to prove them all wrong. So, to prove them wrong that that the son has not been taken, or to prove them wrong that the shifters aren't Look, for all I know, the son's been taken. I don't know who took the son, I don't know who took the sheep, but I bet it wasn't the shifters. Wait, 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 okay. Explain this one more time. The shifters are out there that took sheep and son? See, you're sounding like a townsfolk now. <laughs> no, I'm just repeating what you've told me. I'm just trying to clarify. I did not tell you that. I said the townsfolk think the shifters took the sheep and the sun. I maintain that it would make no sense for the shifters to take the sheep and the sun. I think that either these people lost their sheep and a son somehow, or somebody's taking their sheep and son and trying to pin it on the shifters. Either way, sense. I want to go out there, find the sun, maybe find the sheep, and prove this dumb town wrong. I'm down. Well, do you know where to start? Like the woods that away is what Kamuel Ruli. Ruli. Is that even said. a name? Right? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of town is this? You guys, there, there, there was a guy who told me his name, and then I said, "You calm your nerves." That was uh, awesome. Did he laugh? He did. That doesn't quite sound that right. Oh. I agree with you, X. Right. Anyway, they said. Thank you for the hat. They said the woods that way, so I imagine if we go out there, we'll probably stumble upon the shifters and get some information. Now, from what I know Did about they... shifters, they can be hard to deal with. They can be pretty hot-tempered at times, but... Have you dealt with shifters before? Yeah, how do you know about, like, what type of shifters? Doesn't shifters incorporate, like, lycanthropy as well? Not necessarily. Shifters, uh, from what I know, are a race of kind of, like, beast people. They're not werewolves, per se, but they are, you think of them like humans that maybe are like one sixteenth animal. So they're hairy. They're a little hairy. A little bit. They're furry. A little bit. I have an aunt that's one sixteenth human, but we don't talk to her that much. It's racist, all this racism no, at just, this table. It's, it's just, you know, it's, it's hard me. to get a hold of her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was racist of me. Um, okay, um, I would like to go out and 
try to <laughs> talk to these people. They're not they're not werewolves. They're not going to try to bite our heads off, and you can't kill them with silver bullets. Do you have a uh, Do you have a picture of these shifters? So you would probably know okay. what a shifter looks like, just okay. in general. Because yeah. it's not like, yes, they are, you know, uncommon in cities, but they but would still, yeah, yeah, there are still some okay. shifters who live in cities. And like Price said, there was that big um, inquisition, and mm -hmm. so most people probably know about that inquisition yeah. or are familiar with the shifters from oh, that. Oh, they're cute. Uh, well, I have a suggestion. Yes. If we're going to be going out and tracking some shifters outside in the woods, mm -hmm. Probably best to do it during the day when we can actually see what's happening. Oh, for sure. I, I, I so we're definitely gonna need some sleep. We've had a rough day. With that said, Hex, you look fantastic in that hat. Thank you. You look great in your hat. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in the morning. All right. So we're gonna sleep on it. Okay. Everybody good? You all head back to your rooms. Yep. All right. Is there a bathtub in our room? No. There's a bucket. You can do <laughs> with it what you will. You need to go request water though. Hey, what's up, everybody? Rick here. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Hero Squad Under the Dragon Shadow. And if you guys did, maybe consider becoming one of our patrons at patreon.com slash dumbgamers, like all these amazing people have. Your guys' help directly contributes to us creating new series like Hero Squad and so much more to come in the future. Click that link down below, become a patron, get some awesome rewards. Thanks for your support, guys. We'll see you next time.